This is CES M M A. Here is the Miller Light tail of the tape. Josh LaBerge taking on Steve McCabe. LaBerge fighting out of Lausanne's MMA in Fall River, Mass. He is 8 and 4 with three knockouts. Steve McCabe fighting out of Martinez BJJ in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He comes into this fight at 6 and 14. Let's send it down to Rick Provost for the official introduction. This is our third professional MMA fight of the evening. It is the Miller Light bout. We begin in the blue corner. He weighed in at 150 pounds with a professional record of 20 fights, five wins coming by way of knockout, and one by submission. He hails out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He represents Martinez, BJJ. Please welcome Steve McKay. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 151 pounds. He has a professional record with eight wins and four losses. Three of those wins coming by way of knockout and one by submission. Out of Fall River, Massachusetts, he is a strike force veteran representing Lausanne's MMA. Please welcome Josh, the problem, LeBurge. LeBurge. The man in charge of the bell is Dan Mergliata. Three five-minute rounds, featherweights. We're back live at Twin River Casino, CES MMA 22. I am Mike Parenti, joined by my broadcast partner, Scott Reams. What's Scott. up, my brother? Good to see you, as always. Josh LaBerge in the black trunks, Steve McCabe in the blue, this one in the featherweight division. Looks like Josh got clipped with a short right hand right out the gate, but recovered very well. LaBerge has come in red hot, Scott. Six consecutive wins. He's had a little time off. Josh is taking his back right now. He's had a little time off. He's fought at a real high level. It's nice seeing Josh back in the cage and I love to see him here at CES. First fight in more than three years, Scott. Prior to that, he was fighting for every promotion out there, all the major ones, Strike Force, Bellator, Reality Dad, you're not much longer with those knees. He won't be fighting tonight. That's it, That's boys it, and girls. Mr. LeBurge makes short work of it. The knees upstairs and then the right hands reining in as McCabe went down. Dan Mergliata wisely steps in and stops it. It's a quick finish. Not bad work for the first time in three years, huh? Well, you got to remember, too, Mikey, he's training out of Lozons, so he's going to see plenty of hard work. He's going to see plenty of tough guys. And as much as there is a long break from fight to fight, I know Josh had some issues at home, baby on the way, etc. He didn't look like he was any worse for wear. Not at all, Scott. He came out looking impressive like he had just fought a month ago. Those high knees upstairs, McCabe kind of questioning the stoppage with Dan Mergliata, but yeah, He's only no questioning because he didn't realize exactly what happened. Sometimes when you get knocked around like that, you're not quite sure. You're going to, there's 10 seconds of your life you're never going to get back. You have no idea what happened to him. That's 100% true, and LeBur is just looking absolutely dominant as he comes out here. And as you said, looked like he might have got clipped early on by a short right hand, but take a look at these knees and how high he gets those knees up there, Scott. You can see he's got that right leg loaded very far behind him, but the little trick to it is you see Josh pull in. He pulls second. his opponent in rather than reach out for him. Did a great job, so it's two things colliding at the same time. Josh saw the injury, he saw the eyes roll, and jumped right on the finish, great job. I think that second knee was the one that really did it, Scott. And it's not as if McCabe had his head down by his waist. Those knees were high upstairs. LaBerge showing tremendous flexibility to execute. Just a great finish for him. And back on track once again, now nine and four. That is his seventh consecutive win since taking that break more than two and a half years ago. What a finish for Josh LaBerge. Fantastic. And of course, a tough break for Steve McCabe. He had lost three of his last four coming into this fight. We saw him here in October in a loss to Charles Rosa. That's right. We'll take one more look at the replay, Scott, just to get a, a grasp of how flexible, and this is the angle that we saw live, right upstairs. The first one not really landing, that second one right there. The first one landed in the outside, like the temple area, and when, when, you, you know, when he kind of turned into the, the last one, that's when he ate it in the mouth. There wasn't a whole lot that McCabe could do with that. You can see it here, the first one's gonna hit him in the right temple, maybe just shy of it. LaBerge nails him. And then as he starts to turn, McCabe just eats the second one, the third one, and maybe four or five straight right hands. 
And that was the knockout blow, so to speak. So a impressive return to MMA for Josh LeBurge. Let's send it down to Rick Provost for the particulars. And that initial decision. At 37 seconds of round number one, your winner by knockout, Josh the Problem LeBurge. LeBurge.